Hey folks, I'm Trevian Glory, and this is something a bit different for the channel. So this is from a campaign that I'm playing for my own amusement as the Russians in Napoleon Total War 3, and uh, we have been ambushed in column of march by the French. Uh, so you can see straight away their general has tried to sprint from the right hand side, uh, where the cavalry and artillery are, across to the left where the infantry is. So my Karasir regiment spotted this and charged to attack. Unfortunately, the, although they caught the general, once the general began to retreat, began to rout, because the cav was in guard mode, they didn't pursue, so the general gets away. Uh, but, not to worry, Carassiers then come under fire from French guns. But my plan is to get the infantry into square over here in my left flank, and try and keep that cavalry at bay. Uh, it seems to be manoeuvring along the left to try to get to the head of the column. Uh, I've got my infantry positioned in uh, brushland, woodland as well, so I think that they're pretty safe from attack on that flank anyway. Uh, but my hussars had moved in over to the right to try and get the French infantry into square, but while I was busy giving orders elsewhere, uh, the hussars come under fire from the French line. Uh, took heavy casualties, uh, and by the time I realised what was going on, uh, all I could do then was pull them back down behind the crest of this hill. So I'd be moving the Carassiers over again uh, to try and get the infantry into square, but I decided against that idea, and I just committed my two battalions I'd been holding in reserve here to extend this line, because we're just obviously going to have to deal with the French when they come in. The cavalry French cavalry had been coming around the head of the column, so I put one of my battalions into square uh, just uh, to make sure that flank was protected. And the skirmishers were sent out ahead to engage the French as they came in. You can see the French general in the background manoeuvring around to the infantry. But the French, having moved their cavalry forward, left their artillery exposed, so that was the ideal target for me to send the cuirassiers in against. And they obviously made short work of the artillery. I don't know if it had been just about to try and limber up again. Uh, the guns were you know, very odd facing. Anyway, the Crassiers charge in, and that leads to some excessive violence. Some of these guys look like they're enjoying it just a bit too much. I'm surprised the artillery crew didn't just turn and run. I think maybe their morale against the car was a bit too high. But anyway, so that was that, and the Carassiers pulled back. You can see the French have come to the head of the column, and they've engaged the two of the squares there. I had been moving one square back into line, uh, when I thought that the cab would just come into the, this bottom end of the screen. Uh, but I put them back into square uh, when some of the, the cav began going back down that left hand flank. So this turned into just an absolute massive slog fest. The cavalry milled about there, attacked, withdrew, attacked, withdrew, uh, and the squares were just whittled down further and further. We've got a, a lifeguard grenadier battalion which took heavy casualties uh, purely from uh, fighting the square against the cow. That's just over the brow of the hill, that, regiment, that battalion. And French infantry eventually begins to move in, uh, and our skirmishers withdraw. Skirmishers have the unfortunate habit of <laughs> withdrawing right into fire, whether it be from our infantry or our artillery a bit later on. But the French come marching in. See the AI's a bit mixed up. Uh, and I had had my hussars come back up onto the brow of that hill with the idea of charging them into the flank of the French advance. But they crossed straight up in front of two, uh, two battalions in line, took heavy fire for a second time. 
and again he broke and ran. So I've not made the best use of my his arms. And as a result, the French infantry charge home. But just fortunately, as they made contact, the morale broke. One battalion turned and fled, uh, as did a second. And my battalion here, uh, with its blood up, charges after them. So they get engaged in some hand-to-hand -hand combat, while the rest of the French infantry still pushes forward. Uh, particularly on my left flank of this line, they're very strong there, they've got about five battalions all heading up in that direction. On the right-hand flank, this hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat continues. Uh, French morale is recovered, um, but eventually they do turn and break as well. Unfortunately, my troops chase after them again, right towards the formed up French infantry. And over in the left flank, uh, the charge home here as well. And this time, uh, their morale is stronger. Uh, on the right flank, they were, I suppose they were taking fire from skirmishers. Uh, but over here, uh, things are beginning to look a bit dodgy for me, so I've pulled one of the battalions out of square and I'm marching that over to reinforce my left flank. You can see the cuirassiers manoeuvring over in the right in the distance. Uh, so the infantry here, both battalions, turn uh, and begin to run. Uh, this battalion is just about getting into position, so I rush that forward and get it to form line. Uh, but there's nothing now between the French infantry and my cannon apart from my skirmishers. A bit of luck over in the other flank where this battalion took a good shot from a cannon. Uh, and just enough to give it pause for a while rather than having it charge straight in. Bought me a wee bit of time on this flank. Uh, you can see the French begin to advance towards the guns, not perfectly placed, they're a bit below the, or behind the crest. And the skirmishers, for some reason, decide to all take cover around one of my guns. Uh, they realise it's not the best idea uh, and decide to move to a safer position, but not quite in time for one poor soul won't get the smithereens. Fortunately, the French take some similar casualties. Again, the AI wasn't organised enough to have them make a, a strong charge. Maybe their morale was a bit weakened as well. But this is where my cavalry finally came good. First of all, the Carassiers make a charge in on this, uh, the battalion that took the, the cannonball. And it's not the best charge in the world, but it was enough just to break this battalion's morale and get them running. In the background you can see my hussars uh, out for vengeance uh, and they charge in against this line. The line stands for a few seconds but eventually it breaks. The hussars, and again with their blood up, uh, they charge on into a second battalion that was advancing. Smash into the flank of that. The battalion's morale breaks straight away and they turn and flee. So the Hazars uh, take a bit of time to slice and dice in here and then take a second or two just to form up slightly. Their blood was up too much for them to form up perfectly, just enough to get about a line and a half uh, and then they charge into a third French battalion. And this one, they hit in the rear. So that battalion quickly breaks and runs as well. And the Hussars wheel about, attack a fourth battalion. And that, having been under fire from the artillery and my infantry, shatters as well. Not done yet, and his arse turn, skirt past the battalion here, and charge into a fifth, and again from the rear. The 
they're absolutely exhausted by this point and their own, own morale is just about shot. Um, but having routed five French battalions, can't really complain about that and I'll let them just pull back. So we've still got a few uh, battalions of cavalry hanging about over on the, the right flank, so we've still got some infantry in square, but the French infantry is absolutely shattered by this point, uh, and they're running the gauntlet. The squares see off the final French cavalry attack, uh, and the, the last units there begin to withdraw. Uh, but a fleeing French battalion passes the square, so they engage that, and one of the Frenchmen decides to barge into my <laughs> Russian infantryman, who takes a bit of offence to that. I <laughs> His pal turns to remonstrate with him, and there's a bit of random violence uh, before my musketeer turns and nonchalantly strides away. Nothing to see here, Gulf. So those two battalions leave square and they march up to the left. Uh, just to uh, continue this gauntlet here that the French are now having to run. Uh, the French battalion there's recovered enough morale and is providing a bit of a, a rear guard uh, while the general and their colleagues retreat behind them. I don't think they killed the general. I think he got off. Uh, Carassios are back, they're blown by this point, uh, but again, we've got another French battalion trying to sit, uh, offer some resistance, so ask the Carassios to charge in. Unfortunately, we take some friendly fire from artillery uh, while the charge is going in, and again, we don't have much energy left, but they do enough to break this battalion's morale and add them to the rout. I begin to push my infantry forward, just to sweep up. And one last French battalion appears from the woods. Uh, this is one that has been driven back already. Uh, but that's sent out to offer uh, a final rear guard. I was a bit confused by the change in direction there. Uh, until I realised that what the French were looking to do here, apparently, was to make sure that the Macarassiers didn't chase down their fleeing infantry, because they ignore the two battalions that are cutting them to shreds here, uh, and they don't even bother forming up before they start engaging Macarassiers. But that spurs the Carassiers on to one last effort. While well, this infantry swings around, around to begin shooting them from the rear, uh, the Carassiers launch into one final charge. And it's not much more than a trot by this point. Uh, and it's probably, it would have been better off not sending them in. They probably took a few unnecessary casualties from this. Uh, I think by this point the artillery uh, was still shooting actually at that battalion uh, but I think when the, the time the cavalry engaged I'd managed to get them to target the, the fleeing troops and with that it's pretty much the end of the battle this battalion breaks, and that's the last of the, the French resistance. Carassios can now pull back for some well earned rest. Uh, and I don't bother chasing after the, the fleeing French at all. I just let the infantry and the artillery sort of shoot at them until they are out of range. And that was pretty much the end of the battle. We had the French infantry broken and routing in one direction and the cavalry routing in another. 
all of my units were still on the field in uh, good enough order, although some of them were pretty heavily damaged, uh, they all survived. So I lost about a third of my strength, uh, the French lost about two thirds of theirs, and apart from the couple of occasions where the Hussars were shot up pretty badly, uh, the losses were pretty much acceptable. Uh, we had the lifeguards, Grenadiers, lost 108 men, they fought the entire battle in square, so that was all to cavalry, and a couple of musket battalions lost 150, 125, uh, but overall, uh, I think um, the losses were acceptable. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.